Have you ever looked in the mirror and felt a pit in your stomach at the sight of a gray hair? I used to feel that exact same pit and it would send me rushing to the dye bottle. I was afraid to go gray because I believed something that turned out to be a complete lie. And chances are that same lie has affected you too. Hi, I'm Katie and I've spent the last six years helping countless women all over the world go gray from dyed hair joyfully and with confidence. And today I'm going to share with you what the big lie is, why so many of us believe it, how this lie hurts us and how to break free from it. Now here's the kicker. Knowing what the lie is isn't enough. It's the least important thing I'm going to reveal in this video. What's important is to recognize that this lie has a pervasive hold on many of us, even when we know in our guts that it is a lie. So stick around because here's the real game changer. I'm going to show you how to rewire your brain to truly reject this lie, even on a subconscious level. Now you might've already guessed what the big lie is, but here you go. The big lie is that only old people can have gray hair. Sounds kind of silly when you say it out loud, but that is the message that many of us internalized growing up, even if we found our own first gray hairs when we were teenagers. So why do we believe that gray hair is only for old people? The truth is this belief didn't just happen overnight. It was carefully crafted by advertisers. Back in the early 20th century, when home hair dye kits first hit the market, advertisers had a problem. They had to fight the stigma against using hair dye, and they had to convince women that using hair dye products was essential to retaining their youthful beauty. So they pushed a simple yet powerful idea. Gray hair equals old and old equals undesirable. The message was clear. If you wanted to stay relevant and attractive, you had to cover your grays. And this messaging worked. It really did a number on our collective consciousness. Growing up, how many of us actually saw youngish women walking around in public with gray hair? Personally, I can only remember one family friend who proudly sported her naturally silver hair in her mid forties. She was an artist and she had great style, but she was an outlier among my parents' friends. Most other women that I encountered as a child had colored hair. If they did let their hair go gray, it was only once they'd hit an advanced age where it was considered acceptable to do so. And once they let their hair go gray, they usually wore it in styles that weren't exactly trendy. It's as if society had decided that gray hair and style could never mix. But here's the thing, gray is just another shade of hair color, just like blonde, black, brunette, or red. It doesn't have to be frumpy and it certainly doesn't have to be tied to your age. And you can wear it in any length or style you like. Today, more and more women are embracing their natural silvers, showing that you can have gray hair and still look beautiful, vibrant, and stylish. But even once you've decided that you're ready to go gray, or even after you've already gone fully gray, that lie that only old people can have gray hair can still live in your head and do some damage. So how does this lie hurt us? It can make you fear aging, even though aging is a completely natural process and definitely better than the alternative. It can also keep you stuck in an endless cycle of constantly trying to recapture your youth instead of celebrating and enjoying the stage of life that you're in right now. This lie can also make you feel ashamed of your gray hair, and that is not a good feeling. Your gray hair is a natural part of you, and why should you feel ashamed about who you really are? You're a person with gray hair. There's nothing wrong with that. Another way this lie hurts us is it can make us feel like we have no choice but to dye our hair, despite the myriad of reasons that we might not want to keep dyeing our hair. For example, allergies, health risks, risk to the environment, the damage that it can do to your hair, or even just not wanting to spend the time and the money anymore to dye your hair. In my own case, once I decided that I was ready to stop dyeing after thinking about it for quite a while and I approached my hairdresser, she flat out refused to help me because it would make me look old. Instead of recognizing that for the ageist and frankly sexist comment that it was, I continued to dye my hair for another two years because that comment freaked me out. And it's not just me. I get emails and comments from women all over the world who either cannot enjoy their fully gray hair or they are afraid to go gray in the first place because of this exact same fear. So as promised, I'm going to share with you now how to stop letting this big fat lie keep you from enjoying your naturally silver hair. Before I do so, however, I'd like to ask you a big favor. If you're finding this video helpful, fun, or informative, will you please press the like button and subscribe? I'd really appreciate it, thanks. Okay, so here are my suggestions for how to get that lie out of your headspace. Believe the evidence of your own eyes. If you have gray hair, no matter what age you are, you are not too young to have gray hair. You're exactly the right age for you to have gray hair. So we've got to 
take age out of the equation altogether when it comes to gray hair. Believing the evidence of your own eyes should help you stop associating gray hair with advanced age and will help you more comfortably accept your own gray hair. Retrain your brain not to see gray hair only as a marker of age, but as an actual hair color. Here's how you do that. Look at people or pictures of people with gray hair. Really look at their hair, not their faces or their clothes, just the hair. Notice how gray hair sparkles in the sunlight, how it has vibrancy and movement. Notice how everyone's gray hair pattern and shade is unique. Notice how flattering it is to the complexion. If hair dye had never been invented and we had seen women and men of all ages walking around in public with their naturally gray hair, I think we would have more appreciated how beautiful and unique it is. Another hot tip is to check out the book Going Gray by Ann Kramer. I'll put a link to that below. I don't wanna give anything away, but suffice it to say that if you have any fears about going gray and how it might affect you in your career or in the dating world or in your relationships, read this book and I really think it will put any fears you might have to rest. If you're afraid of looking old with gray hair, think long and hard what you mean by old. I surveyed my audience a few years back just to find out what exactly they meant. Did they mean a certain decade of life? Did they they mean a specific age? What do we mean when we say old? And it turned out what people meant when they said old was frumpy, dowdy, and unattractive. If that's what you fear, if you're afraid that having gray hair will make you look less attractive or make you look frumpy or dowdy, the good news is you can watch this video right here that will tell you all the steps you can take to not only look great with gray hair at any age, but also to look even better than you did when you were coloring your hair.